Three Fathers Marriage has always proven irresistible to my family. We try and fail and try again, somehow maintaining our belief in an institution that has made fools of us all. I've married twice, so has my sister. Our mother married three times. None of us set out for this. We meant to stick our landing on the first try, but we stumbled. My parents divorced when I was five. My mother and my stepfather, Mike, had their final parting when I was 24. She married Daryl when I was 27, and they stayed together until he died in 2018 when I was 54. My problems were never ones of scarcity. I suffered from abundance. Too much and too many. There are worse problems to have. The second time my sister, Heather, married, she wanted a real wedding. Heather and her new husband, Bill, threw a terrific party in a fancied-up barn that had been turned into an event space. They hired a swing band with a handsome front man. Heather and I both had a terrible crush on him, and now neither one of us can remember his name. Carl and I had eloped a few months before, and those beautiful words of love and commitment were still fresh. We drank the champagne, danced in a line, blew soap bubbles into the night sky above the bride and groom. Only my stepfather, Mike, was sullen. His third marriage was nearing its end, and he was in love with my mother again. But my mother was happy with Daryl, and so Mike danced with me for most of the night. My father, who had always hated my stepfather, hated him less now that he, too, had lost my mother. At my sister's wedding, my father contented himself with simply hating my mother, even though she had left him for my stepfather in 1969. Beneath the glow of the little white lights draped over the ceiling's crossbeams, my stepfather's love for my mother and my father's hatred of her looked remarkably similar. Daryl noticed none of this. He had fallen down the brick stairs that led to the back door of their house eight weeks before and fractured several vertebrae. He was wearing a brace beneath his suit, beneath his clerical gown. He was a retired Presbyterian minister, and he officiated my sister's wedding, despite the pain it caused him to walk and stand and breathe. He hung on through the dinner and then got a ride home. But the story I want to tell begins just after the wedding was over and before the reception began, while the photographs were being taken. Or it happened months before that, when I first realized all three of the fathers were going to be at Heather's wedding, the family equivalent of a total solar eclipse. I wanted a picture of that. I called my father first as I pegged him to be the one most likely to say no, but he surprised me. Sure, he said, fine. He didn't care. Then I asked Mike, who would have found a way to get me the North Star had I wanted it. He hesitated, but then said yes as well. He didn't like the idea, but as far as I was concerned, he didn't have to like it. It would take two minutes. Daryl had never met my father before, and he had met my stepfather only once in passing. Unlike my father and stepfather, Daryl owed me nothing, but he said he'd do it. The wedding took place in late September on a day that was clear and bright and still a little warm. After Heather and Bill had been photographed with every possible configuration of family and friends, I lined my mother's husbands up together. In one picture, it's just the three of them in their dark suits, and in the other, I am with them in my garnet bridesmaid's dress. Daryl holds up one of my hands, Mike holds the other, and my father, in the middle, has his hand on my waist. They look like they're trying to steady me. My father is the handsome one, the one whose face registers genuine happiness for the day. Daryl is smiling bravely, very straight, in his back brace. And Mike looks like he's going to leap out of the frame the second I let go of his hand. We were all standing there waiting on the photographer, my father told me later on the phone. And Mike said, you know what she's doing, don't you? She's going to wait until the three of us are dead, and then she's going to write about us. This is the picture that will run with the piece. 
My father said the idea hadn't occurred to him, and it wouldn't have occurred to Daryl, but as soon as Mike said it, they knew he was right. He was right. That was exactly what I meant to do. That is exactly what I'm doing right now.